What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang with Mr. Taco Box here. Beautiful day out here. I am at the Cooper River Lake in Camden County, New Jersey. And in this video, I am going to introduce you guys to the Thunder Mist Misty Minnow. And here is a few things that you really need to know about the misty minnow right and here's the deal if you give a closer look on this lure right over here you will see that it's got a really really good presentation okay it's got one carving that resembles a lateral line two carvings at the face for the opercular flap an amazing color finish and a very vivid and realistic eye right and the shape of the lure itself it is shaped like a minnow it is slender small one three fourths of an inch you know just to resemble that little minnow or smelt or spearing you know that is out there for bigger species to eat right i know that a lot of people are going to take this lure for granted right away you know i mean folks who have never used it they're gonna look at the long bill of this lure and probably be like oh man i really can't use this in my local waters right that is one of the complaints that i actually get a lot from people out there you know because a lot of anglers fish from shore and a lot of people don't have really access to deeper water you know and that's why i'm telling you do not underestimate this lure do not take this lure for granted okay because this lure is actually a sinking type of jerk bait okay it is not a deep diving crankbait if you cast the stuff out there okay and you just give it a steady retrieve this lure is not going to pass the range of three feet deep so this is actually the type of lure that you can really go out there and just do a cast jerk jerk which is exactly what i'm doing right now you know you just cast it out there right reel it in and do like two three jerks to resemble like a dying minnow and you are going to get really good results out of it okay so summarizing this is a lure that is a small catches a variety of different species of fish got good presentation and good action in the water especially with the cast jerk jerk but there's one more thing to this lure that makes it really good okay and that is this is not just a sinking lure this is also this actually also provides a lot of noise in the water okay it rattles now let me see if i can do that in this video i'm just gonna hold the treble hooks here okay and let me give you guys a shake you guys hear that you guys hear that that little shaking right over here those are like the little bearing balls in here right that really makes it rattle so you know we got a lure over here from thunder mist lures that is very convenient for a wide range of different species of fish that seriously is just it's gonna get you bites you know doesn't matter if it is that reaction bite or that hunger bite right especially around finicky fish that usually tend to look at lures like this right and take a good look before it strikes you know yeah they're probably gonna look at this and just be like oh man this lure looks just like that little minnow that passes in my neighborhood you know next thing you know boom fish on right so I've been using this lure here at the Cooper River Lake today for a little bit already. I caught a bunch of panfish on it, mainly bluegill, the lepomis, macrocytus. I'm going to fish with it a little bit more. I have high hopes that this is going to catch me different species of fish over here. So this is it for this video, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you see, don't forget to give Mystery Tackle Box a like and a subscribe, okay? So you can actually get notifications for more videos like this in the future. All right, man, I'm out of here because it is like 1 p.m. right now and I still got four hours to fish. I will see you guys next time, okay? Tight lines, folks, and take it easy.